Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passage. It's good. It's absolutely a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We've got a little bit of a question, a conversation, a little bit of a news story that's been floating around. Yakuza 6 released a couple of days ago as a demo on the PlayStation Network. Now, the big surprise that everybody had was that the demo was over 34 or 36 gigabytes, as you can see, sitting up here in the top of the screen. Uh, 36 gigabytes download, which didn't seem reasonable for a demo. But there was a reason why, because essentially what you were downloading was a full version of the game that's just locked off until the actual full release of the game. But two days ago, whenever they put the demo up online, Sega made a little bit of a mistake, and a lot of people in North America downloaded the demo and got the entire game to play through. Um, I didn't get the opportunity, I didn't get the chance. I ended up grabbing it from the EU store, not the American store, whenever it came out. My hindsight is completely and completely and utterly helpless, unhelpful, and I can't do anything about it. I'm going to still have to wait until shortly after my birthday. I think actually literally this game comes out the day after my birthday to um, actually celebrate and enjoy the Yakuza series. But we have played a little bit of this demo previously. As if you checked out Made in Japan a while ago, we did it actually during the uh, Hong Kong and Japanese release of the same demo. Just checking out the story mode on the live stream. But we also did it again in English there the other day. So if you want to check that out, the video is up and live anywhere for you to check it out. But the news story basically covers the fact that Sega made a snafu. They made a massive fuck up. They released the full game, and now there's a lot of people who have played through the entire game uh, months before release. And obviously, it's kind of half spoilered, but at the same time, Yakuza's got a lot of gameplay experience that you can actually get into and enjoy. I'm going to look forward to playing more of the demo because it's going to let me level up my character, prepare for the actual release of the full game. But if you were one of the lucky few who managed to get a hold of the demo, that was the full game. I'm essentially not saying go and play it because you pirated it, but I highly just encourage you to go and purchase it in some way, shape, or form. There's a really good deal at the moment for the digital bundle, which is Yakuza 0 and Yakuza 6 for 50 quid in the EU. I think it's on like $60, $70 in the American environments. And if you enjoy Yakuza 6 and you got it for free, I ask you, would you? Do you think that it's worthwhile spending money on a game that you got for nothing if you enjoyed it afterwards? Could this be a possible model for release in the future where you get to handle the game and go, right, it's on you to actually pay for this now. And are you going to be a good person for doing so? I know for a fact that I'm going to be buying 6. I haven't been a huge fan of the Yakuza series from the release on the PS2. And with the release of Yakuza Kiwami, uh, Yakuza 0, and the soon-to-be Yakuza Kiwami 2, I, I, would feel, I, I would feel wrong about playing through the game on live stream. I'm glad I didn't have the opportunity to do so because of the mess up with the demo. Now, obviously the demo itself is no longer available on the PlayStation Network in any region. So I might pop into the play prologue again for you guys to see more of the gameplay and more of the mechanics of it. But that's what the question I want to ask. It doesn't want a conversation I want to have in the comments. If you got given a game through no fault of your own and it was a full game for free that's worth full price, would you pay for the game afterwards to make a point of saying like i support this game i support this environment and uh, you guys messed up but i got to play it two months before it actually came out and i really appreciate that what's your thoughts on it that's why i'm asking on youtube and why i'm asking on any other location this video goes up on can can you be trusted as a consumer as an environment to own up to the fact that you got it for nothing and then pay for it after the point question you think that's the case? Well, if you can do that, if you will do that, then make sure to comment below. I want to have, a, I want to talk to people about this because it's something that we complain about in the value of games. Um, a game excited experience that would actually take a solid 30, 40 hours to play through completely, to actually enjoy all of it. If it was worth your time, is it worth your money? So if you agree with me, you disagree with me, you think I'm an idiot for actually saying that you should pay for it, even though we got for nothing, then tell me so in the comments below or via the likes or the dislikes or the subscribe buttons, or whatever way you prefer. So thank you very much. Uh, I just wanted to ask, I want to know, do you tell me? Uh, again, this is actually a video for Past Teacher Skin. If you happen to be watching this on YouTube, there'll be a little box popping over my head, which will be a playlist. Over there will actually be the most recent video on the channel. And right here next to me will be a video just for you, based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube. And because you're asking about Yakuza 6, it's very likely to be a video that will be playing Yakuza. So if you actually want to see any of the other game experiences that are available in this entire amazing series, make sure to hit that button over there.
And if you have any other buttons floating around, ones that are actually really helpful to me, like subscribes or likes or dislikes, make sure to hit those too. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.